Good evening. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the playing of our national anthem in my old Kentucky home. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Good evening. I'm Karen Hendricks, principal of Dixie Heights High School. And on behalf of our administration, faculty, and staff, I'd like to welcome you to the 2017 Dixie Heights graduation ceremonies. We are here to honor these students and to recognize them for this major life accomplishment. Thank you for coming to help and share in this milestone event. We are pleased to have as guest this evening, Mr. Neil Stigelmeyer, Interim Superintendent, Mr. Gerald Turner, Assistant Superintendent, Ms. Martha Setters, Executive Director of Curriculum and Assessment, Ms. Jessica Jane, Kenton County Board of Education member, Ms. Carla Egan, Kenton County Board of Education member, Mr. Josh Crabtree, Kenton County Board of Education member, Mr. Matt Moore, Assistant Principal, Mr. Tom Spritsky, Assistant Principal, Mrs. LaFon Benton, Assistant Principal, Mr. Rob Maddox, Mr. Thad Dusing, Dr. Jennifer Eckler, Mrs. Amy Ring, Mrs. Lori Denler, and Mr. Chris Gillis will be presenting for our seniors. A special thanks to our Dixie faculty in attendance this evening. They are seated behind the class of 2017. Thanks to each of you for being in attendance and assisting us in honoring the class of 2017. Good evening. My name is LaFon Benton and I'm the Associate Principal at Dixie Heights High School. At this time, it is my privilege to introduce to you the musical portion of our evening. First, we will enjoy the talents of our Dixie Heights Chamber Choir, directed by Miss Katie Hayward, followed by the equally talented students of the Dixie Heights High School Band, which is directed by Mr. Jonathan Stites. Our choir will perform Bridge Over Troubled Water, while our band will play Hymn of Axiom by Vienna Tang.
This year, Dixie Heights High School had the honor of having two students with matching GPAs serve as our class valedictorians. The first valedictorian for the class of 2017 is Miss Allison Baumkamp. Good evening, students, teachers, administrators, family, and friends. And it's my pleasure and my honor to be able to stand on this stage tonight and speak on behalf of the class of 2017. First and foremost, welcome to your graduation. If you haven't already discovered, tonight is a pretty big deal. Tonight we celebrate all that we've experienced for the past four, four years of our lives and welcome all of the unknowns that lie just over the horizon. Tonight will be the the last time that we, the graduating class of 2017, will be under the same roof. So I find it only proper to begin by thanking everyone that helped us get to this very place. To our families, friends, teachers, and administrators. To everyone that is here tonight and has been here for us throughout our high school journeys. Thank you. Thank you for your support and endless devotion to our success. I know that everyone in this room has had a lot thrown at them over the past four years because that's just what life does. It throws curveballs. Sometimes life nudges you in the back and causes you to trip your way down a flight of stairs, metaphorically or literally. Sometimes life decides that the day before picture day is prime time for acne. And to all of my calculus peers out there, sometimes life asks you to find the internal temperature of a boiled potato. In short, life is difficult and confusing and ridiculous, and high school is no exception. We've all felt the regret that comes from procrastinating far too long on an assignment, staying up too late on a school night, or completely bombing a really important test. That is, until we became seniors, and that regret turned into a simple, oh well, you win some, you lose some. And we've all experienced our fair share of painfully awkward and embarrassing moments. I won't go into detail. Yet, here we are, gathered here to reminisce on four years spent together in the halls of Dixie Heights, and readily accept the difficulty, confusion, and ridiculousness that lies ahead. Despite the inevitable struggles that come along with being a high school student, we can all probably agree that these past four years have impacted us in ways we never expected, whether that be involvement in a new sport, loving a class you thought you would hate, or becoming friends with someone you never thought you'd be close to. Because even though high school comes with its tough moments, the positive times and wonderful surprises that reveal themselves along the way are what make it so special. I know that my freshman year, I never anticipated that I would be standing here tonight delivering a speech to such a large part of the Dixie community. But this is just one of the many unexpected and unforgettable experiences that Dixie has brought into my life and that I'm so utterly grateful for. I believe that the things I am most grateful for, though, are the lasting friendships I made during my time as a colonel. From 2013 to 2017, many amazing friendships have blossomed inside the walls of Dixie Heights, and I hope that these are bonds that will never break. I hope that each and every one of you has found or will find the Roddy Stainforth to your Chad Fields. <laughs> Another thing that we can probably agree on is that high school has gone by pretty fast. It feels like just last month, I was making the daily trek from health class up to the freshman academy or casually playing a giant game of crocodile oh my in the middle of the football field during a gas leak. But now, suddenly, I'm graduating, never to step foot into Dixie Heights as a currently enrolled student ever again. Time may have flown by, but this school, the people I met, and the memories I made here will always stay with me. Some of you sitting here tonight have been a part of my life for almost 12 years. Some I've known for seven years, some for four, some for a month or two, and some for maybe just a few minutes along the way. Whatever the case may be, though, every senior sitting here is and always will be a member of the Dixie Heights graduating class of 2017. And no matter where we go from this day forward, this is something that we will always share and is definitely something to be proud of. I have seen this senior class come together in extraordinary ways, in times of hardship and in times of victory. Each one of you has made an impact on our school and on the students surrounding you right now. To those leaving for college in a few months, 
or joining the armed forces or entering the workforce or anything else, keep up the good work. You've made it this far, and tonight we will all be presented with the same honor of calling ourselves high school graduates and will be given a new foundation upon which we will begin to build our futures. The world beyond high school is a big, scary place, but I hope that all of you approach it with confidence, pride, and endless desire for knowledge and faith in the fact that you can leave your mark. Dixie has prepared us to make a difference, and I know that that is exactly what we will do. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2017. It is now my honor to introduce the second valedictorian for the class of 2017, Mr. Andrew Perry. You're running. Every step you take echoes off the hard pavement. Stride after stride, your breath continues to get shallower. You see the end, the elusive finish line. Your friends and family crowd it, ready to shower you with applause. But can you make it? You've come so far, your body already many miles worn. But another inch feels impossible. Can you really make it? High school is like a marathon. With each step taken after the gun, we set out to achieve the difficult, the grueling, the sometimes thought unnecessary task of obtaining a high school diploma. And as we are set to do that today, I would like to happily inform you, yes, we can make it. Even better, we have made it. With every journey comes change, and as you very well know, we have changed the last few years. We've met new people, made new friends, and most importantly, learned lessons that, if kept, will guide us throughout the rest of our lives. When running, preparation is essential. To be prepared is to be confident. In high school, this was having more than a scribbled on piece of paper and half a pencil in your backpack. It was studying at night so you could ace the test in the morning. It was knowing which teachers had eagle eyes so you could check those Twitter updates. Though not intentionally, high school taught us how to assess a situation, and if we didn't like it, maneuver past it. It created a, general, or a generation of problem solvers, and I will always be grateful. During any long race, it's easy to get distracted, to lose track of your goal. This is especially true towards the end, as the finish line approaches. At this point, it's easy to believe that you've already achieved your goal. In high school, we call this senioritis, and I think it began freshman year for some of you. Instead, push through. Make the most of your opportunity. Often, you can't make it through a marathon on your own. You have to rely on those around you to keep going, whether it be your peers or your family. No matter how tough times got or how badly we wanted to quit, they were always there for us, never allowing us to give in. Throughout your lives, be sure to surround yourself with a community willing to challenge and support you. Most of all, be willing to reciprocate that help to others in need. Above all, try to enjoy the ride. Whether it be a day on the football field because of a gas leak or a rainy day at President's Park, take a break every once in a while. These years, while they may be preparing us for the responsibility of adulthood, should be cherished. High school was like, a, was like a marathon. You ran, your feet echoed, your breath grew shallower, and you made it. You made it not because of the overhyped chicken tenders or the profit you raked in from pool passes. You made it because you decided this meant something to you. 
You decided your friends, your education, and your future were worthy of taking that first step, of starting this race. So, what's next? College? Work? Just know, wherever you go, life is a marathon. Thank you. Mr. Stigelmeyer, as principal of Dixie Heights High School, it is my honor to attest to the fact that the members of the class of 2017 have fulfilled all of the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the Kenton County Board of Education, and therefore have earned the diplomas they are about to receive. All of our graduates will be receiving the Dixie Heights Diploma. They have successfully completed at least 28 credits of coursework that includes a certain number of required and elective credits. The Dixie Heights Excellence Diploma is an honorary diploma presented by the school to graduating seniors who have completed a prescribed program of study. Seniors earning this diploma must have successfully completed advanced placement courses in five out of six content areas. Students who meet the criteria for this diploma will receive an additional diploma. The Dixie Heights Honors Diploma is an honorary diploma presented by the school to graduating seniors who have completed a rigorous program of study. Seniors earning this diploma must have successfully completed any four advanced placement courses including English, foreign language, a math or science, and another of their choice with a grade of C or better and successfully complete at least three advanced placement tests. This diploma is represented by a gold honor sticker in the right center of the diploma. This year, the Kenton County School is, is implementing the cum laude system to graduating seniors. Cum laude is a Latin term that means with honor. It is used to refer to students who have met high academic standards at the time of graduation. There are three honors that are bestowed upon graduates, including cum laude, which means with honors, magna cum laude, which means with great honor, and summa cum laude, which means with greatest honor. The highest honor is summa cum laude. These students have a 4.2 grade point average or higher and are wearing a gold and white cord. At this time, I would like for the students who meet the criteria for summa cum laude to please stand and accept a round of applause. The next level of the cum laude system is magna cum laude. These students have a grade point average of 3.8 to 4.19 and are wearing silver and white cords. At this time, I would like for the students who meet the criteria for magna cum laude to please stand and accept a round of applause. The last level of the cum laude system is cum laude. These students have a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.79 and are wearing bronze and white cords. At this time, I would like for the students who meet the criteria for cum laude to please stand and accept a round of applause. And now for the presentation of our diplomas.
Allison Rachel Baumkamp, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Dixie Excellence Diplomas. Andrew Gregory Perry, also receiving the Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Casey Morgan Higginson, also receiving the Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Sarah Marie Gripsover, also receiving Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Samuel Vincent Lambert, also receiving Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Jocelyn Ann McGeehee, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Reagan Kate Murphy, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Perrin Elizabeth Long, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Catherine Joanne Fields, also receiving the Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Emily Morgan Sims, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Jacob Riley Fowler, also receiving the Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Mackenzie Ellen Garrett, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Dixie Excellence Diplomas. Julia Marie Sager. Isabel Kincaid Phillips, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Kaylee Jordan Keenan, also receiving the Honors Diploma. Nathan Andrew Tackett, also receiving the Honors Diploma. Alessandra Anne-Marie McLaughlin, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. <laughs> Rachel Melissa Milligan, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Mary Laura Lorraine Clark. Mitchell Oliver Moore also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Ariel Rhiannon Wyndham, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Dixie Excellence Diplomas. Ernest Dzdarovic, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Brandon Kyle Young, also receiving the Dixie Honors and Excellence Diplomas. Kylie Nicole Brock, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Emily Madison Legg, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. And that's not Emily's fault, that's my fault. You may be seated. Yeah, thank you. Let me try again. Emily Madison Legg, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Brian William Wolfeck, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Hannah McKenzie Cook. <laughs> Diploma is being presented by her father, Ed Cook, teacher at the Northern Kentucky Day Treatment Center. Aw. Camden Joseph Clark, also receiving the honors diploma. Kelsey Ashton Goldsberry, also receiving the Honors Diploma. 
Matthew Egan McCann, also receiving the honors diploma. Kendall Nicole Brown, also receiving the honors diploma. Cameron William Barrett. Samantha Michelle Cornelius, also receiving the honors diploma. Lawson Joseph Hammond Funky, also receiving the honors diploma, being presented by his father, Stephen Funky, teacher and athletic director at Twin Hoffle Middle School. Haley Kirsten Edwards. Mason Tyler Sansoni. Mackenzie Elise Easterling. Hannah Joy Combs. Corey Aaron Maggard, also receiving the honors diploma. Samantha Mackenzie Steffen, also receiving the honors diploma. Brittany Lynn Manning, also receiving the honors diploma. Lauren Marie Bluford, also receiving the honors diploma. Rachel Victoria Miller. James Thomas Fussinger, also receiving the honors diploma. Jason Tyler Houston. Emerson Jane Bosley, also receiving the honors diploma. Corinne Gail Fitterer. Elizabeth Lee Cumberledge. Emily Jane Fitzpatrick, also receiving the honors diploma. Jack Thomas Reynolds, also receiving the honors diploma. Caitlin Page Jocelyn, also receiving the honors diploma. Benjamin Joseph Worley, also receiving the honors diploma. Karina Angela Holthaus, also receiving the honors diploma. Madison Ray Woods. Brianna Ivalice Sanchez, also receiving the honors diploma. Alicia Nicole Hughes. Seth Michael Autry. Paige Elizabeth Jansen. Olivia Ann Steiner, also receiving the honors diploma. Andrew Dallas Cox.
Madison Claire Neal. Zachary Stephen Anderson receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Seth Andrew Arlinghouse. Victor Joseph DeLong. Madeline Ann Jansen. Kelly Elizabeth Canassel, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. Andrew John Bosma. Alexis Grace Taylor. Martha Ann Link. Olivia Deschelle Coulter. Christopher Dale Jett. Skylar McKenzie Parsons, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. Zachary Michael Borchers, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. And he's being presented by his mother, Susan Borchers, a social studies teacher at Dixie Heights High School. Aww. Austin Craig Nixon. His diploma is being presented by his mother, Becky Nixon, director of special education for the Kitten County School District. Aww. Robert Joseph Schweitzer. Kayla Lynn Gaddert. Danielle Rose Delaney, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. Skylar Elizabeth Feeback. Jenna Lynn Cottingham. Noah Charles Smedley. Rosa Allison Alvarado Reyes. Alma Melissa Aguilar. Hannah Michelle Richardson. Ashley Christine Bravo. Sophia Marie Montello. Michael Dean Constantino, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. John Charles Beagle, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma. Shannon Vincent Gilday, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honor Diploma and the Excellence Diploma. Hunter Ethan Meyer. Autumn Marie Von Handorf. Timothy James Schultz. Brandon Matthew Hicks. Also receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Caleb Dean Carson. Brianna May Reynolds. Ashley Dawn Bennett.
Cameron Ray Thornberry. Brianna Gabrielle Staten. Michelle Elizabeth Farrell. Ryan Stephen Paget. Ethan Andrew Walker, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Alan Michael Millward. Samantha Diane Yake. Brandon Michael Wagner. Lauren Ray Rigg, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Michaela Renee Evans. Donovan Markel Martin. Cameron Olivia Purnell. Her diploma is being presented by her uncle, John Popham, principal at Simon Kitten High School. Asher Tencher. <laughs> Sule Akbas. Corinne Leah Albers. Caitlin Ann Bailey. Hannah Elizabeth Baker. Tyler Jackson Banks. Brett Nolan Barnett. James Matthew Barry. Tiao Ta Bawi. Jordan Christine Bell. Olivia Leanne Berter. Zara B. Emily Lynn Bissonette. Hunter Blake Blair. Abigail Marie Bloss. Mason Michael Bonar, receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Haley Elizabeth Bork. Tamaya Renee Bowens.
Roy Edward Bowers. Jeffrey Reed Bradfield. Mackenzie Ray Briefeld. Hunter William Brennan, receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Alexandra Marie Bridgeford. Shawnee Lee Brock, receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Ethan Jacob Brown. Joseph Tyler Browning. Justin Andrew Bird. Michael Bryant Caldwell. Brittany M. Carroll. Kylie Lane Carson. Satin Marie Carter. Stephen Ray Chesser. Joseph Ray Clark, whose Dixie Heights Honors Diploma is presented by his parents, Jim, a math teacher at Dixie Heights, and Aaron, home hospital teacher for the Kenton County School District. Ian Lewis Combs. Ethan Edward Conradi. Damon Michael Cox. Shane Robert Coyle. Travis James Crow. Joquez Amon Cummings. Brooke Michelle Davis. William John Davis. Joseph Cole DiMatteo. Robert Joseph Dennis. Logan Vlad Xavier Dillon. Caitlin Marie Dorgan. Logan Michael Dorio. Carolyn Rose Downing. Matthew Wyatt Duclo. Harry James Dykes. Riley Kerrigan East. Alexis Marie Ellis. Sydney Wayne Etherington. Dana Gail Eversoll. Ever 
a Ulises Farias. Desmond Malik Ellis Farmer. Congratulations. Rebecca Ellen B. Lindsay Ariana Ferguson. Benjamin Michael Feeger. Daniel Liam Finnegan. Cody Austin Fennell. Chloe Abigail Fletcher. Amanda Yvette Flores. Nicholas Michael Forte. Tavian Lewis Frazier. Constance Grace Gabbard. Jonathan Michael Garner. Ryan Karen Michelle Gebhardt. Philip Vernon Gilbert. Megan Nicole Lee Gilreath. Courtney Nicole Glacken. Kelsey Ann Glacken. Evan Michael Gregory. Kelsey Cheyenne Gross. Diana Eritsu Gutierrez. Alyssa Page Hamill. Randy Renee Handrich. Kylie Joy Harden. Sydney Maria Harden. Tyler Christian Harrison. Marino Hatfield. Tate Donovan Hatton. Madison Rose Haynes. Cody Michael Held. Kayla Desiree Helton. Dakota Cheyenne Hensler. Giante Charles Hicks. Sydney Francis High. Par Chin Hoy. Haley Ray Holt. Nathan Lewis Hopper. Brianna Nicole Horn. Brent Austin M. Hoff. Madison Renee Jackson. Jonathan Bailey James. Erica Jane Jansen. Sean Derek Johnson.
Kevin Michael Jones. Jack Francis Keller. Lauren Grace Kellerman. Isaac Jackson Everett Kennedy. Michael Quentin Kenny. Dylan Joseph Klockner. Connor McKenzie Cluck. Alexander Michael Cruz. Chloe Madison Kyle. Michaela Rose LaCalametto. Zoe Don LeCount. Mohammed Mohammed Lamin. Delaney Marie Leonard. Lexi Faith Lindsay. Matthew James Lori. Gregory Cornell Long. Ruben Magellan. Ethan Daniel Mandic. Aaron Kathleen McGovern. Rachel Lynn Middlecoff. Alexandria Caitlin Miller. Benjamin James Miller. Caleb Alexander Miller. Noah Alexander Mills. Veronica Elizabeth Montes. Elena Alexandra Moore. Kayla Precious Moulton. Elizabeth Ann Mullins. Colin David Nichols. Isaac Walton Oling. Andrew Joseph Overpeck. Lorenzo Sabino Pangallo. Emily Anne Marie Parrott. Caitlin Lee Parton. Kaylee Amber Patterson. Leah Hope Peace. Clayton Charles Perry. Jacob Robert Peters. Veliana Dimitrova Petkova. Anna Marie Phillips. Joshua Hunter Pope.
David Joseph Pritchard. Luke Stephen Rockhorst. Nathan Garrett Rayburn. Chase Thomas Reeves. Zachary Thomas Reese. Ginalise Reyes Lopez. Congratulations. Austin Michael Rice. Maya Rose Richter, also receiving the Kentucky, the Dixie Honors Diploma. Mackenzie Renee Riley. Logan Charles Robinson. Wyatt Benjamin Rowe. <laughs> Nolan Hale Samowich, also receiving the Dixie Heights Honors Diploma. Luke Wayne Sandusky. Colton James Shovel. Ian Edward Schaefer. Sydney Dawn Schmid. Jason Paul Shuck. Charles Benjamin Schuler. Eleanor Elizabeth Schwarting. Haley Kathleen Sears. Devin Robert Sebastian, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Stephen Anthony Seiberth. Savannah Marie Shaw. Liam Maxwell Shirley. Hannah Ethel Short. Reagan Michelle Simpson. Isabella Ann Sizemore. Savannah Lynn Sizemore. Michael Harder Smeltzer. Martin Patrick Smith. Braden Daniel Spivey. Corey Joseph Spivey. Brittany Ann Stanton. Sawyer Weck Stevenson. Michael Janae Stewart. Lauren Taylor Stone. Jackson Kenneth Taylor.
Taylor Alexandra Thurber. Jose Luis Torres. Jacob Russell Treadway. Aaron Thomas Turner. Morgan Lynn Underwood. Corey Lee Van Horn. Kevin Vera. Charles Ray Vinson. Amber Renee Vogt. Chase Thomas Vossmeyer. Jacob William Weber. Henry Conrad Weigold. Timothy Aaron Whittington. Sarah Christine Wiesner. Christopher David Wolfzorn, also receiving the Dixie Honors Diploma. Austin Benjamin Wood. Ashley Nicole Wohner. Tristan Anthony Yagel. Alicia Cherie Yates. Chandler William Yeary. William Tyler Zachritz. Hunter Joseph Zimmerman. Biak Zing. And the final member of the class of 2017, Christina Rose Zumbiel. So the pressure was on and you rocked it. Great job. Good job. It's my pleasure to introduce the president of the class of 2017 to give our farewell speech and that is Cameron Thornberry.
Congratulations. We made it. What a crazy four years it has been. Feels like yesterday we were at Camp Dixie, roaming the hallways, trying to figure out where our next class would be. Nervous, but excited to finally become high school students. I remember thinking how grateful I was to be out of middle school and starting something brand new. Now we are all excited to leave Dixie and to enter the real world, to begin something new. Some of us will go to college, some will go straight into the workforce, and others will join our military. But today, we are still in high school, and there are still lessons to be learned. Not everything in life comes easy. We have to work for what we want. If you want a promotion, work harder. Work a few extra hours. Work beyond what is expected. We have to be OK with getting bumps and bruises. Every once in a while, we will fall. But then we have to get back up and keep moving forward. You cannot let others define you. William Shakespeare said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Simply put, you decide your future. Do not let people tell you what you can do and how you must do it. Push the limits. Break some rules. Because in the long run, you'll have to fight for everything you want. Don't settle for anything less than what you deserve. I say this with experience. When I was in middle school playing basketball for middle, for, when I was in middle school playing basketball for turkey foot, one of my coaches told me that I was never going to start and that I simply was not good enough. Yeah, I could have settled. I could have quit. But I didn't. I worked. I practiced. For four years, nights, weekends, every day after school, in season and out of season. And by senior year, I not only started every game, but at one point, I was ranked 17th in the state for three-point shots made. Thank you. Anything is possible if you want it bad enough and put in the work. So ignore the limits that others set for you and make every moment count. Don't settle for anything less than what you want. Because if you want to be the best, you will find a way to do it. You won't make excuses. My mom uses an analogy with me all the time. Life is like riding a bicycle up and over a hill. The harder you pedal at the beginning, the faster you will get to the top. And once you get to the top of that hill, you can coast the rest of the way down. But if you don't pedal hard at the beginning, it will take you a lot longer to get to the top. Today, we are on top. And that's why it's important to savor today's moment of celebration. Because after today, we, are, we will have to start pedaling again. Pedaling towards more moments that make us feel like we do right now. I must say that being your class president has been an honor. And I still can't believe how lucky I am to have been a part of this class and watch every one of us make plans for the future. This moment, right now, is the last time we will all be together. The last time we can look to our left and look to our right and see the faces of the people we've grown up with. I would like to thank the Kenton County School District for helping turn us into the people we are today. And a specific thank you to all of Dixie, teachers and faculty, because without your direction, we wouldn't be here today. I think Jack Black said it best in the movie School of Rock. I've been touched by your parents. I have been touched by your kids. And I'm pretty sure I've touched them. <laughs> Finally, class of 2017, find your destiny. Now, would the class of 2017 please rise And join me in moving your tassel from the right to the left to signify that we are now high school graduates and to symbolize the beginning of our new journey.
Thank you. Should I tell him to head out? 